Beginning in the late 19th century, food began to be mass-produced, mass-marketed, and standardized. Factories processed, preserved, canned, and packaged a wide variety of foods. Processed cereals were originally promoted as one of the first health foods, quickly became the American breakfast. Processed foods began to dominate the nation's diet. Modern food processing technology in the 19th and 20th century was largely developed to serve military needs. Where's the food come from? It's true that most food comes from farms, but most of the stuff people eat today have been processed so much in factories that the only way you can know what's inside is by looking at the list of ingredients. And if you do that, you may get a shock because you don't even know what half of the ingredients are. For example, butwylated hydroxyl tuli. If you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. It's some chips salted peanuts, and some other items. Most of the food you eat has been processed in a factory in some way. Foods low in vitamins and nutrients can actually lower your child's IQ. Super sweet breakfast cereals, pre-packaged lunches, and fast food dinner runs may be convenient for parents feeding their kids on the go, but a diet high in fat, sugar, and processed foods can lower your child's IQ and actually lead to obesity, according to the Journal of Opeganometry and Community Health. Food packed with vitamins and nutrients help boost mental performance in children. The brain grows at its fastest rate during the first three years of life. It is possible that good nutrition during this period may encourage optimal brain growth. Michael Nelson, director of the research for the UK School Food Trust, tells the parents of children that healthy food choices during a child's early development are not only important for fighting obesity, but also for improving a kid's ability to do well in school. These findings also demonstrate the importance of helping everyone involved with the children's early development to get the information and advice they need to on good nutrition. Another author says that this suggests that any conjunctive behavioral effects relating to eating habits in early childhood may well persist into later childhood, despite any substantial changes to diet intake. So now we know that processed food leads to obesity, lower IQ, and mental health in children. Instead of a hot dog, let's feed the children whole food packed with nutrients.